So tangi or tangi hanga is not funeral. The word doesn't mean funeral, just so you know. It refers to funeral, but it doesn't mean funeral. Tangi means to cry, to mourn or to weep. Uh, yes, it's referred to as a funeral, but it doesn't actually mean funeral. So when I say a tangi anaho, I'm talking about I am crying. So I'm not actually referring to me, I am funeraling, <laughs> if I could put it that way. Um, and it's a lament. So uh, if, if you've ever had to go on to a marae during a tangi at all, you would have heard it if you were at Sir Paul Reeves tangi at um, Holy Sepulchre. Uh, he was there for three days and three nights. Uh, you would have heard the lament. It's a specialized uh, skill uh, that women do. And it's very, very moving. If you're not moved to tears, boy. Um, tūroro, uh, this is in some of the pastoral um, liturgies. Tūroro is a sick, to be sick uh, or very ill. Uh, there's another word, I haven't included it here, and that's māwiwi, māwiwi. But for the sake of the, the prayer book, we don't use the word māwiwi. The word in the prayer book is tūroro. Uh, tono is not actually in the prayer book, but it refers to uh, prayers at the time of death, uh, when you commend their spirit uh, to God when they die in front of you, generally. But it's on the moment. It's right at the moment, at the time of death, not afterwards. Uh, tu pāpaku is the deceased person's body. Nehu is to bury. And again, it's not tangi. Many people use tangi as, as a description of the burial, but actually it's nehu. Uh, and, the, and, and what happens with priests and, and kaumatua when we're talking about when is the nehu, we never say when is the tangi. We always say when is the nehu, the burial, the internment. A tanu or tanu mia is also a burial internment committal. And it's used in the prayer book, um, I tanu mia as part of the affirmation of faith. He was buried. Uh, you know, Jesus was buried and it's in the affirmation of faith. So that's some of the um, understandings around tangi and tangi hanga. Uh, Ministry of Healing, of course, is available on those pages, 738 to 745. Uh, the only Te Reo Māori in that liturgy is the Lord's Prayer, Te Nui A Te Ariki, and the Blessing of the Sick. In the additional directions on page 746, there are no Māori karakia. Equally with the prayers for use in critical situations, uh, there is no Māori karakia. Uh, karakia tono, uh, now you know what tono is, uh, reconciliation of a penitent, so you might be at the bedside, you're able to take the confession, uh, but there is no Māori karakia in the prayer book. Uh, prayer at the time of death, again, uh, Lord's Prayer and the blessing of the sick. Uh, prayers uh, before. Uh, the funeral, there's sentences, prayers, readings, and hymns for the funeral liturgies. They're all available, but there are no uh, Māori karakia that I can draw upon. So let's start with some of the liturgy. You've got the page numbers there at the top of the screen. If you've got your book handy, you don't have to have it, but... Uh, the page numbers are at the top of the screen, which is where you'll find the liturgy in the prayer book. Te anohoa ihoa ki a koutou, ma ihoa koe e manaki. Ko ahau te aranga me te ora, 
Koya e fakapono ana kiaha. Ahakoa ko mate e orano. E kore ano hoki e mate. Ake 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 nga tanga takato e orana. A e fakapono ana kiaha. Haere mai ki a hau e koutou kato e māwiwi ana. E tai maha ana a māku koutou e whakaoki oki. Ko ia anō te aroha o te atua ki te au. Ko mai ana e ia tāna tamakotahi. Ki a kāhore ai e ngaro te tangata. E whakapono ana ki aia. Engare i kia whiwhi ai ki te ora tonu. Aha koa nga te mate tātou i wehi i a whoever that might be. Kia mahara e kore tātou e motu hia. I te aroha noa o te atua. E kore te mate te ora rā nei. E kore ngā anahera, ngā ranga tiratanga rā nei. E kore ngā mea o naia nei. E kore ngā mea e puta mai a mua. E kore ngā mana. E kore te tike e tike. E kore te hōhunu. E kore te tahi atu mea hanga. E kaha ki a momotu i a tātou. I te aroha o te atua. I tērā i roto nei i a karaiti ihu. I tō tātou āriki. Kia whakapainga te atua, te matua o tō tātou āriki o ihu karaiti, nāna nei, nā tāna mahi tohu e nui nei. Ki te tūmana ko ora i a ihu karaiti, ka āra ake nei i te hunga mate. Ko iho a ana kē e tapu ana, e tika ana, e marama ana. I runga i tēnei whakapono, kā tuku a tu koe e. Ki tāna whakawā me āna mahi tohu. Ki tāna muru ngā hara, me tōna aroha. Kia whakapainga te atua, te matua, nāna nei i mea ki kia te aho te māramatanga o te karaiti ki a koe. Whakangaro i te ao, i runga i te aroha o te atua matua, Nāna nei koe i hanga, i runga i ngā mahi tohu a ihu karaiti. Nāna nei koe i hoko, i runga i te mana o te wairua tapu. E whakakaha nei i a koe, whakauru atu ki te kāhui o te hunga pono. Noho mai i runga i te rangi mārie. Wai hoki. Kā tukua tō tinana ki te one one. 
ke atahuna ranei. He one one ki te one one. He pungarehu ki te pungarehu. He puehu ki te puehu. Me te tino tu manako atu ki te aranga ake ki te ora tonu. Ko ihu karaiti hoki tō mātou āriki. Āmene. And that's your um, tangi liturgy. And I know it sounds all like a bit much, page after page after page. But once you play it back and, and, and choose, you know, you can just keep playing it back until you choose which part of the liturgy you'd like to use and how it's pronounced. I've chanted some of it, I've said some of it. Uh, the liturgies for, for many of you won't be uh, foreign. You'll be familiar uh, with the liturgies and uh, I encourage you to choose one or two next time you do a funeral. It doesn't have to be a funeral for Māori. Uh, you don't know who in the family or who in their friends are in your midst who might be Māori, and they might appreciate it. But I encourage you to, um, to use it, just one part of the uh, Tangi liturgy next time you do a funeral or a cremation. Kia tahuna is creation, uh, cremation. Uh, and and uh, I wish you well on that. 